Spent. Uh, I think we won every single game. We've kept our opponents under 84 and obviously 74. And it's it's beyond just kind of oh saying okay, well Indiana Fever are coming and they're selling out. And you're just sitting back and watching it. How do you, how other ways can you monetize and capitalize on it? Um, you know that's obviously a business you know, layered thing, but but that's how I think uh, you could you could capitalize. Um, you know, we haven't seen them a lot. I'll say that. Um, what I have seen, uh, and you know, coming into and coming into the season, you know, watching her in college, I said the single best thing that she does that young players don't do is she plays at an incredible pace. And pace can get you really, really far, and there's great value in that. Pace and passing, I think, are her two greatest things. I know the sexier part is probably the logo three, um, but the uh, the pace and the passing is what makes her. Cheryl Reeve has long been regarded as one of the top coaches in the WNBA with a history that speaks volumes. Under her leadership, the Lynx have consistently performed at an elite level with multiple championships under their belt. However, it's her ability to adapt and evolve that truly sets her apart. During the recent All-Star Game, Reeve likely realized that Caitlin Clark is more than just a young talent. She's a force to be reckoned with. Instead of merely trying to shut Clark down, Reeves smartly shifted her focus to devising a broader strategy to beat the Indiana Fever, and it paid off. This ability to adjust and outmaneuver opponents is what makes Reeves such an exceptional coach. The way the Lynx have performed under her guidance is impressive, and it's intriguing to see her adapt so effectively to the challenges posed by emerging stars like Clark. This adaptability is a hallmark of great coaching, and Reeve has consistently proven herself in this regard. Now, let's dive into an interesting observation. In previous interviews, Reeve seemed tense when discussing Clark, almost as if she was wary of the media scrutiny that accompanies any discussion of the young star. However, in a more recent interview, Reeve appeared much more relaxed, casually discussing Clark without the previous tension. It's fascinating to see this shift, as it suggests that Reeve may have come to terms with the challenges Clark poses on the court and is now more focused on how to strategically counteract them rather than merely containing her. Reeve's change in tone might also be influenced by the realization that the media can be an ally rather than an adversary. By acknowledging Clark's talents and discussing her openly, Reeve is not only showing respect for the player, but also positioning herself as a coach who is confident and prepared rather than one who is overly concerned about the media narrative. Interestingly, Reeves' demeanor also seemed to change when the conversation shifted to her role with Team USA. In the past, she appeared under pressure, especially when the topic of Caitlin Clark was brought up. This was particularly evident during the All-Star Game, where Reeves seemed to be grappling with the weight of expectations. It's possible that she felt the team's focus on containing Clark was too intense, which might have cost them a few games. Clark's impressive performance, including 10 assists in the first 12 minutes, likely made Reeve realize that a more balanced approach would have been wiser. However, in more recent discussions, Reeve seems much more at ease, particularly with the return of Nafi Collier to the Lynx roster. This likely boosts her confidence, knowing she has a strong team behind her, and it puts her in a good position to win future games. The dynamic between coaching a national team and a league team is complex, and Reeves' experience with Team USA may have added a layer of pressure that she's now learning to manage more effectively. Let's talk about Caitlin Clark and the seismic impact she's having on the WNBA. Clark has not only been a standout player in college basketball, but has also brought a tremendous amount of attention to the women's game. Her ability to shoot from deep combined with her quickness, vision, and overall basketball IQ, makes her a unique and thrilling player to watch. This isn't just my opinion. Sue Bird, one of the greatest players in women's basketball history, described watching Clark as thrilling, and it's easy to see why. Clark's deep shooting range forces defenders to guard her far from the basket, creating opportunities for her to drive past them or find open teammates. This kind of playmaking ability is rare, and it's changing the way teams prepare for games against her. It's not just about stopping Clark, it's about figuring out how to prevent her from completely taking over the game. Despite all of this, there has been some tension between Reeve and Clark, or at least that's how it appears from the outside. 
Reef has made comments that some have interpreted as being dismissive of Clark's abilities. However, in more recent statements, it seems that Reeve may be shifting her perspective. Perhaps she's realizing that the hype surrounding Clark can actually work in her favor. After all, Clark is drawing massive attention to the WNBA, and Reeve, as one of the league's top coaches, stands to benefit from his increased exposure. Reeve's acknowledgement that overly focusing on Clark might have cost her team a few games is a sign of growth and adaptability. It's also worth noting that having Nafi Zakolia back in the lineup likely gives Reeve a renewed sense of confidence. Collier's presence on the court provides stability and a reliable scoring option, which allows Reeve to implement more complex strategies without worrying as much about individual matchups. The media plays a crucial role in shaping how players and coaches are perceived, and Reeve seems to be keenly aware of this. In her more recent interviews, she appears to be more media savvy, giving reporters the answers they want while also controlling the narrative around her team. This is a smart move, especially in a league where media coverage can be inconsistent. Reeves' understanding of the media's power is evident in her interactions with reporters. By being more open and relaxed, she's likely trying to build a positive relationship with the media, which can only help her in the long run. It's a strategic move that reflects her experience and understanding of how the game is played, both on and off the court. Caitlin Clark's rise has not only impacted individual teams, but the league as a whole. The Indiana Fever, a team that previously struggled to gain national attention, will have 36 of their 40 games nationally televised next year, largely thanks to Clark's presence. This is a remarkable shift for a team that had only one nationally televised game the previous season. Clark's ability to draw viewers and fill arenas is elevating the entire league, bringing much-needed attention to women's basketball. This increase in visibility is crucial for the growth of the WNBA. It's not just about Clark. Other players and teams are benefiting from the attention she brings. The league is in a more exciting place than ever, and with stars like Clark leading the way, the future looks bright. However, with increased attention comes increased scrutiny. The debates around Clark's impact on the game, her role in the WNBA, and her place among the league's greats are intense and sometimes contentious. There's a fine line between praising Clark for her undeniable talents and critiquing her performance in a way that's fair and constructive. Some have argued that the media's focus on Clark is disproportionate and that other players, like Angel Reese or Alia Boston, deserve just as much attention. This is a valid point, and it highlights the challenges of covering a sport where a few standout players can dominate the conversation. It's essential for journalists and commentators to cover the league in a balanced way, giving credit where it's due without overshadowing the contributions of other talented players. Stephen A. Smith, never one to shy away from controversy, has weighed in on the Caitlin Clark debate, arguing that her presence in the league is a marketing boon for the WNBA. Smith's take is that business considerations, like increasing viewership and selling tickets, play a significant role in decisions about who gets the spotlight. This perspective, while sometimes seen as cynical, is a reminder that sports are as much about entertainment as they are about competition. Smith's comments also underscore the importance of Clark's marketability. Her appeal isn't just about her basketball skills, it's also about her ability to draw fans and generate excitement for the league. This is something that both the WNBA and its teams are likely keenly aware of, and it's shaping the way they market their stars. Adding another layer to this discussion is Cheryl Swoops, a WNBA legend who recently made headlines for her comments about Clark. Swoops, who is currently a host on the Queens of the Court podcast, has been critical of Clark in the past, which has led to some backlash. Suits' remarks have been interpreted by some as evidence of bias or resentment, particularly given Clark's popularity and the media attention she receives. Suits' comments highlight the challenges of discussing high-profile players like Clark. Any critique, no matter how valid, can be perceived as hate or jealousy, particularly in a media environment that is quick to jump on any negative remarks. 
This creates a difficult situation for those who want to offer constructive criticism without being labeled as haters. As journalists and commentators, it's our responsibility to cover the league fairly and thoroughly. This means giving credit to all players who deserve it, not just the ones who are making headlines. It also means being willing to engage in difficult conversations, even when they involve sensitive topics like race, gender, and media representation. With Cheryl Swoops and Caitlin Clark is a reminder that these conversations are not easy, but they are necessary. The WNBA is a league that is growing and evolving, and with that comes growing pains. It's up to all of us to navigate these challenges with integrity and fairness. So, where does that leave us? The WNBA is in a fascinating place right now, with incredible talent, dynamic coaching, and a media landscape that is rapidly changing. Cheryl Reeve, Caitlin Clark, and all the other players and coaches in the league are part of a larger narrative that is still unfolding. As fans and commentators, we have the privilege of watching this story develop in real time.